Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. This one, I hope you don't mind me doing longer ones because I just, I can now. Um, <laughs> if you don't like it, run it at faster speed because I do have to type and speak slowly sometimes. Okay, Mammon. Mammon is named for money. Look at that beautiful picture there. Please, can I have some money? Please, you're holding it over my head. Well, there we go. Mammon, wealth. Oh, wealth or an entity that promises wealth. Get out of there. We'll get to you in a minute. And uh, it's a 155. And it's a 133. Isn't that lovely? Um, so if we go here to Wikipedia for a moment. Um, you cannot serve both God and Mammon. And it's a, it's a Hebrew word. We'll just copy that, and that's what means money. Then the word has been adopted into modern Hebrew to mean wealth. Well, let's just take a look. We'll get rid of the brackets. And we'll do our usual. We'll start taking letters out. So it's gone from money. Money from me okay i believe that's why they strung or strung hung uh, crucified jesus because he went and tipped the tables of the money changers but that could just be speculation or is it they have to tell the truth who knows from me mm, interesting so we can get rid of that one and that one and let's go to here because this is all connected um so this talks about um the operating of the masons during the middle ages the middle ages yes yes that's when that's when it was. Yes, it was. Um, <laughs> but the interesting part here is if we go to origins and myths, we go to a little, little inverted commas. I always find that word quite interesting because everything's inverted, just like some languages read from left to right and some read from right to left so craft of free masonry you know what i think the craft is of freemasonry the craft it's the moon the moon the moony um and then we've got euclid in there as a my video there the other day that i did on euclid uh it's the manu matthew cook manuscript as well now generally i guess they call it the matthew cook manuscript which gives us a 93, so a do what thou wilt. Or we could just make it the cook manuscript. What are you cooking up in there? Huh? Get it? Play it? Cook in there. And, uh oh. We got Genesis. Genesis is 33. I'm not going to show you that again. Came to him of the children of Israel while they're in Egypt. This is just, wait till you see how this all flows together. Uh, biblical times, blah, 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 the Crusaders, the Holy Land, speculative histories, King Solomon's Temple, Harima Biff, I've shown you that enough, Harima Biff equals 33, he had the two pillars outside, pillars is 33, they were made of copper, copper equals 33, and he was killed by three ruffians whose names all start with that. And those names, I think, added up to 133 or something like that. I, I'll leave the link in the description for the other video. But then who have we got in here? We've got Euclid, we've got Pythagoras, we've got Moses. And we've got the Noah Chides and Noah. The Noah Chides. That sounds like, I don't know, Noah Chide. The, oh, can you even spell? The 
seven Noah Hyde. Noah Hyde, can I spell? Noah Hyde. Rules, was it? Was it? No, it's 70. Oh, you silly, 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 silly man. Seven. Seven. Seven Noah Hyde. Laws. Which I believe are in, in, written into the American Constitution. So, I always find it funny that Haruma Biff, that's where a Biff starts from when you get into a fight. Um, we're going to go here to the United Grand Lodge of England. Mainly because of this picture here, which we shall press under that because it gives us a clearer picture. So we start at the top here with the Ark of the Covenant. Hang on. The Ark of. You silly. Ark of. So many arches. Like the Ark of Baal. Yes. So Ark could be Arch. You can pronounce it the same way. And then we've got, of course, Hebrew writing up here. Um, we've got the Bergs. One, two, three Bergs. Which is the name for castle. Uh, this means you're in trouble and need help from a mason. We've got a lion. We've got a bull. Um, we've got lions everywhere around the outside here. But we've got these little angels. These little angels that kind of look like a boy and kind of look like a girl. But they kind of look like they have goat's feet. Hmm, no wonder they like the goat. Riding the goat, I believe it's called. And now we're going to go for a bit more translation of these words down here. So it's Avdi Vide. that oh I need a I need a translate Avdi Vide and we and that's Latin I believe so we'll go from Latin Avdi Vide Have D V D T A C E T A C E, and we're going to change that into Hebrew. And we're going to copy. Oh, well, you'll actually let me copy the whole thing. And we'll go from Hebrew to uh, English. Can you please get this right? Hebrew to English. We'll paste that in. Look at me and shut up. <laughs> I didn't actually, oh, so, sorry, I didn't actually see if this said anything. Let's have a look just in case. 75, 63, hmm, three sixes. Look at me and shut up. And then we'll um, take a couple of letters off, see what it says. Look at me and drink. What? Wine? Turn water into wine. Look at me and drink. So I found that rather interesting. But um, it's going to get even better. Um, so yes, we've got goats in there. Insignia. Um, just quickly as well. If I can find it, if it was in this one. Um, no. No. Can't be bothered finding that. Um, here's a couple of date calculations. Uh, this one I just found interesting. This is the 24th of June 2020, which was the 303rd year day celebration. I added 88 weeks, which is 616. Remember how we did that division up of uh, 616 divided by uh, 7 comes to 88. Well, 88 weeks comes to March 2nd, 2022. 
So it's the day before a 3-3 date. But is it? Is it a day before a 3-3 date? Well, it's a 70. We'll take out Wednesday. It's 23. Hang on. March. So it's the 2nd of March. Is a 23. And it's also a 33 date. When you add 88. That 88 just keeps poking its little head up, isn't it? Um, the other interesting one here was this. From the 24th of June till the 17th of August, which is the final day, uh, which is the great sign in heaven, 2,520 days, whatever it was, is 15, 15 days. And as we've discovered through the 700 and something videos on here, that anything to add to 15 is a 33 because it's 6. So it's a, either a 6-6 six, six date or it's a 3-3-3-3 three, 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 three date. Which brings me back to Moses. So what we'll do here is we'll grab this little picture out here. This is the uh, once in 7,000 years. This is the great sign in heaven. Um, and we'll try and read it out here with the blurry writing. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travelling, travailing in birth, and painted to be delivered. So, this is the Virgin, the Virgin Mary here. There's the sun, the moon's over there. This is uh, Jupiter, which that's what it actually means. Jupiter, Jubella, all those, yep. Um, and it travelled in retrograde, so it's gone, you can't quite, well, you could be able to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then was birthed out of her after nine months. And funnily enough, all those lions, what are you doing? Get away. All those lions above her head, and Leo is sitting right above the virgin's head. And all these are perfect. Doesn't get much more perfect than that. Um, so with the great sign in heaven, 3,333 years ago, what we're going to do is have a listen to about a minute 20 of Jason from Archaics. Is something he has to say. And then we're going to have a listen to a video that I made with more confirmation. And I'll probably come back afterwards. But to me, I'm starting to move in the direction that we have a collective of humans in this world that we call the elite. Whoever they are, whether whether it's the puppets that we see in the media or, or, or an echelon that's even higher that's unseen, to me, these families go back, they're ancient, and, I, and I've seen some of their activity over the centuries. I've documented what they did in, in, in 1902 and in 1764. Those are the two last Phoenix dates. So these, to me, in ancient times, at some time, the occupants of the Nemesis X object and the dark satellite had basically had to leave. They had to leave the, the, the uh, known simulacrum, but they didn't want to relinquish control. So they passed on methods of control to a body of humans that swore to them that through the ages, they would maintain that power so they could give it back to them when they returned. So this is the story of artificial intelligence. This is the story of artificial intelligence X. It was introduced by them to help the elite do what they do which is deceive the public, keep them in dungeon programming, and try to minimize the impact of errants. Minimize the impact of those few people of every generation who actually know the truth and they're not deceived. The Phoenix makes sure, though, that the elite never have total control. They ne they're they never able to build an infrastructure that is so powerful that it's going to overrun even all the errants. Never. One of every 138 years, Phoenix basically clears the field.
Seems we open a big can of worms here. Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. Well, how's that for a bit of information? <clears throat> Excuse me. Akhenaten, whoop, come back. Akhenaten is Moses, from what the speculation is. Well, let's um, <laughs> start out with Akhenaten. We'll throw him in there. Akhenaten is that. And he was a pharaoh. And pharaohs were the Pharisees. Come on. But so <laughs> you've got Jason talking about that the power was handed down because they had to leave or whatever and was passed down to a group of people. Um, and when he says uh, the Nemesis X object or whatever he's talking about, I actually think it's the moon, but might be an, might be something else. Um, and the moon is Sin, Sin AI, Mount Sinai, 3,333 years, which I'll play this in a second. Um, and you've got Cosmic Agency saying that Moses, who was Akhenaten, made a deal with his reptilians, reptilians equals 33, or reptilian does. Um, Moses got the horns, um, you've got the goat's feet, you've got... <laughs> is there any surprise that this place is the way it is? And then of course you have every 138 years they wipe the slate clean so they can't have complete control over people like you and me. And you and me equals 33 as well. So I think that's um, quite a, a comprehensive analysis of how Freemasonry is related to the uh, so-called Children of Israel, which is related to Moses, which is related to Euclid, which is related to the Egyptians and the pyramid. No wonder the pyramid's on the back of the $1 bill. And Mooney and money at the start with Mamon um, from me. Uh, Anyway, we'll have a little bit of listen to this and um, I'll come back again. Um, but this is the one here that we're on about. 3,333 years from Sinai. Why is Israel still burning? That was made four months ago. That means this year is 3,333. That's referring to 2021 and his video goes for 3636. Years before... Moses allegedly got the tablets, not the iPads, not the artificial intelligence tablets, the tablets from what I consider the fallen angels. The code. He got the code on how to do it. Give me a break. Or, they're not from this planet, they're aliens. So, take it for what you will. Um... I'm not going to bother listening to him. Oh, I might throw a little bit of footage in the end because he does some interesting things. Um, so that's 3,333 year. Yeah. So rule of Colel. Oh, I just noticed. Notice that it's... Uh... So that's 3,333 year. Yeah. When's that? in 2021 which was the year 21 when you add up the hebrew year it's 5782 is 2022 which equals 22 5781 is 21. hmm it's good to go back and look at your old stuff so rule of kolel one in one out so that means 2020 was the 3300 32nd year since Mount Sinai and 2020 was the 303rd year of Freemasonry and the eye, corona being part of the eye is no coincidence with their eye symbolism and 2020 vision. That will do from that. We'll leave some links in the description for the for those there's three videos, I think, three or four of those videos on that, so I'll leave that. Um, and the one on Mount Sinai, the sin from kin, the kin from sin. Um... It's fairly comprehensive, so what we'll do now, 
is we'll duck over to here and as long as I've remembered everything I need to oh is you know how I did the video on 88 as well um, and we we're discussing that 88 is that and then we just do the opposite 3 so it's 3 3 3 3 again people also call this the Ouroboros and the Ouroboros is the snake eating its own table tail and it's 88 <laughs> 80 eating its own tail 88 very it's very clever it's very well done and then of course you've got 88 miles an hour you got uh, uh, all the other 88s the 88 constellations the 88 lights they put up when the towers went down plus all those other examples in the 88 video I did but the 88 constellations was the one that tripped me out a little bit so um, I think it's about time that we look at the great sun in heaven in the constellation and we shall cue the scary music. Love yous all. critical component. What's up, y'all? I'm the last man on Earth. Shit's all fucked up. Probability of them using our own language against us. It's high. It's very high. Freemasons run the country! Say so what now, what now? Of course. Simples. Reintegration tax to cover the costs of moving 3.3 million Jews to Poland. Say so what now, what now? Lem weighed 33,000 pounds. Say so what now, what now? Releases her 33,000 email. Never say anything bad about the few. Just can't. Why? 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 Why you always lying? You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. Make it no more than 33% of the way before we are killed. And for those with eyes to see, I give you 33. 33 is feeling pretty good right now. Typically around 33. I worked on this for 33 years. We will make it no more than 33% of the way. Globe's 333rd month of 
belong to a triceratops that walked that land around 33... 33,000 even. TV, so it's 133 aspect. Versus just over 33,000. You delete 33,000 email. 33, so we have 33 projects. Are the 33,000 email. And here at 133, a sex worker stand. Reintegration tax to cover the costs of moving 3.3 million Jews to Poland. How 33% is critical mass. Once you reach a population of 33%, then you, you no longer can be stopped. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. <laughs> Inside our own language system. Oh, oh, they, they're using our own language against us. And the clock is ticking. 